Hi everyone, Gary Paxson here. Wanted to take a few minutes. We've been getting a lot of uh, questions here locally and as we look across our nation and try to understand everything that's going on, we're hearing some consistent questions and wanted to take a few minutes and answer a few of those for you today. First of all, we want to know um, if Arkansas hospitals are currently at capacity with patients diagnosed with the coronavirus. As of April 7th, 74 residents across the state were hospitalized with COVID-19. And so as you look at the capacity today, we have more than enough capacity to take care for those patients. Um, obviously the future will dictate um, how that may change, but at the current time, we have plans in place to safely care for anyone who may come to our community or to any hospital across the state. So the next question that comes up is, are we running out of resources to take care of, our, of those COVID-19 patients? Right now, the short answer is no, we're doing okay. We have enough resources here at White River Medical Center and at Stone County Medical Center. What we're doing, we're conserving resources. We have canceled elective surgery cases that um, conserves uh, equipment. Uh, we've, ca we've canceled diagnostic tests and procedures until they can be safely done at a later date. We activated a task force in the month of March who's actively monitoring on a daily basis what supplies we have and mobilizing clinical staff as needed to the right areas. We've created a contingency plan for a possible surge of uh, patients diagnosed with COVID-19, and we're both we're ready for, uh, for whatever may happen, both at White River and Stone County. We are preparing uh, for that surge at, uh, as we look at national and state projections. Um, as we look at, at those advisors across, uh, across the nation, we're trying to monitor to the best ability and see where we may go. We don't know the future. We don't know when it'll hit, how many patients it may be, um, but the awareness of a potential surge is to our advantage. We have time to prepare. We've put plans in place, and to, to date, those plans are working uh, very well. We are prepared to care for any COVID-19 patients in our communities or any other medical need that you may have in the interim. The last question we want to answer for you, answer for you is, can people get tested locally for COVID-19? Short answer is yes. White River Medical Center does have drive-up testing stations as well as testing capability at our clinics. We are following the directives of the Arkansas Department of Health and the Centers for Disease Control at a national level with regard to testing which, uh, which patients are recommended for that testing, with, especially with symptoms and known exposure. Patients who meet high risk categories and healthcare workers and first responders are being prioritized. So there is a chance that the testing may not be necessary. Based on CDC guidelines, patients with minor symptoms are asked to just self-quarantine without testing unless their symptoms worsen. Patients are also tested for other respiratory illnesses like flu, strep throat, and even if we're in the middle of allergy season. And so those things have to be considered before testing is done. As hospital increase cases increase, the amount of daily testing will need to expand. Patients can use um, online resources such as Wavelink. We have a RHS has a telehealth service, or we have a chat with a health bot available at our, our website, well, whiteriverhealthsystem.com, and you can use those to see if you meet the requirements for testing. Just wanted to answer uh, three quick questions for you. We hope they're helpful to you. Um, we look forward to talking to you again soon. Thank you.